to be a part of this facility, it's very hard to describe. From the importance to the company, I mean, this new facility, the Ruse site, and it's just a pillar of the company at this point. We just celebrated our first 100 years, you know, just a short while ago. You look at the history, the Dearborn Assembly Plant that is built in the military craft. The Model A was produced there, 40 years of the Mustang. I go, so you think of the history that that, that you know, building has, yeah, in my opinion, is just unprecedented. The goal is to transform the icon of 20th century manufacturing into the model of 21st century sustainable manufacturing. It's really Bill Ford's vision for the Rouge, to come from a place that had been around for a long time and make it a viable place for manufacturing into the 21st century. This is kind of that first chapter in that next 100 years that we're you know, starting that first chapter right now. This is a tremendous place to work. It's uh, newer, larger, and all that helps boost the morale of the employees. This building, it was like going to heaven. Yeah, like I said, it was beautiful. It's clean, it's environmentally friendly, it's warm. We invested a lot in making this a great place to work for people and a great place to manufacture vehicles while having a minimal impact on the environment. We're on top of the Dearborn truck plant. We're actually on the world's largest living roof. Solar panels right out there that generate electricity for us. There's 10 monitors, 36 skylights. Look at the amount of natural light that's coming into this facility right now. We're saving money, we're doing things that are good for the environment, and it, it makes you feel good about working for a company like that. This building, completely different. It kind of improves not only the morale, but the work, the quality of the work, and everything kind of goes hand in hand. The employees are absolutely first and foremost in the operation of this, this particular plant. This operator right here is using a happy seat to get in and out of the vehicle. Without something like that, it's really hard on your, on your body to do that 432 times a shift. Every aspect of their work life has improved, whether it's the ergonomics and safety of the employees to the quality to the environment. Here's another real good example. When you install wheel lifts, we actually raise that vehicle all the way up so it's right in front of the operator. So they're not having to bend all the way over to put on the wheel lift. All of our tools here are electronic. A more traditional older plant will have air tools. When you're using an air tool, your body takes up a lot of that torque. With electronic tools, the tool will take a lot of that. With the electronic tools, it automatically stops the line and notifies everyone that it's down because the boat didn't complete torque. So uh, it's an overall process to improve the quality of the vehicle. This system keeps defects from getting out of the station and getting to our customer. By and far, the quality is much more dependable, reliable, repeatable. This project has become one of the great lessons learned and lessons being learned. I think a lot of people will take this up once they see it. We can't stand still for one minute, one day, without making some type of change or looking for some type of improvements. This is definitely the way the company's going when we need to.